Hi, I'm John from HeatAddicts.com. And I'm Julia. And today we're going to be reviewing our very first sauce from Lucky Dog Hot Sauce. This is our first review. Jarrett's already reviewed a couple of his products before, but this is our first one, and it's the Green Label. Yummy. Yes, good times. Mm -hmm. We've actually, well, we've actually had his products before. We had the Red Label. We, we chewed through that bottle. It was downright amazing. So good. And then we also got a prototype Black Label sauce that was heavy on the garlic. and So it spoke, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it spoke our language. We love garlic. Oh, so had a wonderful garlic flavor, so I have no doubts on all the others. But anyway, let's get down to business. Yeah, read off the ingredients. The ingredients today are as follows. Distilled vinegar, onions, roasted chili peppers, roasted garlic, water, carrots, chili peppers, sugar, sea salt, lime juice from concentrate, cayenne pepper. And today's sauce color it's a green brown, probably from the Serranos. The We've had some other Serrano well, sauces that yeah. have the same kind of color. Um, definitely speckled. You can see all the different pepper bits kind of floating around in there. Yeah, it looks it looks thick. It looks thick. It looks good and garlicky. Yep, yep, yep. So, and it well over here on the other side of the label, it says use Lucky Dog hot sauce on meat. Eggs, pizza, sandwiches, fish, and pretty much anything. So very universal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, let's, <laughs> without further ado, let's gonna let's get to the. Pretty excited. No. Pretty excited. Oh, did it tear off on you? Yeah, it did kind of funny, but I'll get it. Got strong fingernails. Actually, a lot of strong fingernails. I'll just clip them, actually. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of difficult. Yeah. It looks kind of pulpy. Like it, it looks very, mm. that's the only word I can think of. Look, like orange juice with a lot of pulp. That's what this looks like. You can see different shreds and little bits of all the ingredients. Ooh, and you smell it. You can definitely smell yeah. it. Yeah, it has that scent of Serrano in there. There's a garlic hint to it. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. the one thing I, I have found with what we've tried so far with Lucky Dog is that the garlic is very powerful right out of the bottle and mm -hmm. that black label, it was amazing. So I have no doubts that this will be awesome. Oh, it's going to be all sorts of awesome. I already know. <laughs> well, actually, Jarrett spoke very highly of this stuff. He did. He did. And so. he said, he actually, he liked it so much he didn't even do a review of it. <laughs> it's because he went chewed right through it. Yeah. So. But he said it was really good. My, it's a milder sauce, but Jared's mm. broken, so who knows? We'll find out. I think it, it smells good. I see like little red spots floating around, so that could be the cayenne. Um, it's very thick. Um, it has yeah. a it has a kind of an applesauce sort of texture. It does. It but does. It is. It's, ooh, Man, wow. I can smell that garlic. That, that garlic really is just through. shining through. I have to agree. But um, I can't wait any longer, so let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Oh. It's almost like, there's almost a little bit of a sweetness to it. There is. I have to agree. There's a sweet aftertaste. It's, it's almost not, like applesauce. It, it, it's almost like an applesauce aftertaste. It's not super apple-y, mm -hmm. but there's a... Yeah, but that garlic for me um, is... It's amazing. If you are a garlic lover, I highly suggest to get this sauce. Why it is amazing. It's nice and soft and kind of silky on the tongue a little bit. Oh, I get good. a little bit of an afterburn, tiny afterburn on my tongue, maybe because of the cayenne. But I don't know about you, but I, I can really taste the Serranos. I can taste the Serranos. I don't want to taste jalapeno. It's more of a Serrano. Like the, yeah. they, they have to be roasted. Like they're, Definitely. He's doing roasted. something to bring out the flavor in here. Yeah. It's, mm, oh, that's, it's so good. I mean, for, for heat, mm -hmm. I'd say it's maybe a five. Like It's, it's definitely mid-range heat. And, he consis considers it a medium heat. Yeah, it's just below the medium. Mild, so. medium, hot. You so said it's right underneath the medium. I give, you know, I give it about yeah. a, you know five heat. Yeah, you know, it's, it's an average heat. It, it, it's definitely tolerable. Mm -hmm. uh, Good beginner sauce. Yeah, yeah. This would be the sauce with training wheels. But flavor, that's I'm on the fence. I don't know. It's 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 good. I I'm, I'm digging it. It has a really good flavor. There's mm -hmm. some complexity to it. Yeah. I, I'm I am comfortable saying a solid eight. 
on the, the flavor right now before food. I'm comfortable with the name. I'm saying a nine. Really? Yes. See, that's not. I'm on the fence. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna wait to see how it goes on food, but. I, I, I dig the flavor. I, I, I can see all these flavors. You could, you could add this to a lot of different foods and it would complement it. Definitely. So, Definitely. Then what about aroma? I'd say the aroma's a nine too. Like it has a really pleasing aroma. Eight, nine. Yeah. That garlic for me, the second I smell the garlic, I'm hooked. <laughs> so we got, it averages out to 8.5s. Give or take. You know, five heat. Well, we're going to go and uh, heat up some of our leftover enchilada casserole, and we're going to smother it in this stuff. So we will get back to you guys here in a few with our follow-up. Catch you guys later. All right, and we're back. We uh, heated up some of our leftover enchilada casserole, smothered it in the sauce, and now it's time to dig in and try this on food. Like the, the smell of the sauce is, yeah, you know, it's really like I'm smelling it over the enchilada, and then mm. the enchilada casserole is really fragrant. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you want to take the first you bite? Sure, sure. Yeah. Also, this casserole has a it has a seven pot Douglas in it, so it's got heat to it. And since this sauce is mild and it's all more, you know, Lucky Dog sauces are more about the flavor, we figured this would be a match made in heaven. Mmm, mmm. Is that good times? Yeah. You able, is the flavor of the sauce overpowering the... Mm -hmm. Are you still tasting it there or are you still tasting the enchilada casserole? Are you... No, I can definitely taste the sauce. Um, you know, oddly enough, my first bite, I got a real big lime lime bite I, I tasted lime i smelled lime it was really good i didn't notice it out of the bottom but bullshit. once i got yeah once i put it on the food and it got it mixed in with the heat that lime flavor just came out of nowhere well, it has so lime juice from concentrate yeah. so i mean it has the lime juice in it I do, you do get the lime. there's no lime in the casserole so that's no. where it's coming from yeah i mean i was surprised i i kind of did a double take and you know thinking about it and that's a trick that's why i had to check the ingredients because i want to make sure i was tasting something that was in the sauce and sure enough that lime juice is really popping right now it's really good yeah, that's crazy. Like it, mm -hmm. it almost tastes like a, a little bit like applesauce initially when we tried mm -hmm. it by itself. Now it tastes some limey. Mm -hmm. There's the garlic there. I mean, you definitely. I'm gonna say I just got a very garlic garlic key bite. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Garlic. But um, garlicky. Um, but no. Um, putting it on hot food. I can smell the garlic. I can mm. smell the pepper. I can you know tasting um you know the lime. It's really a very pleasant sauce. I really enjoy this sauce a lot. Mm -hmm. It's got a really good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. and I'm, yeah. I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. Like I, I, I mean, I liked it by itself. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it just the same right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think. I mean, I gave it a nine and a nine. So I don't think. I, I don't think it's quite a ten. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty damn close. I, I, I think that you know, it's it's nines mm -hmm. across the board for me. Mm -hmm. I'll say the, the, um, oh my gosh, this slipped my mind, the, the taste or the flavor on food, I'll, I'll, I'll give it up, or bleh, man, I've been tongue-tied all day. I am going to give mm. it a nine. I think the flavor definitely was enhanced by the food, um, so I said eight out of the bottle on flavor, I say a nine on food. Okay. Yep. So 8.5, uh, 8.5 .5 to start, mm -hmm. and then on food, nine, nine. Mm -hmm. That sounds good to me. I mean, it's a, it's a damn it's a good, good song. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm definitely impressed. Yeah. And after this one, I'm really interested in trying the the orange label. That's oh, hotter. Yeah. It's got. I mean, this, this is this is the, the the baby hot sauce. This is the mm -hmm. you know this is the work your way up hot sauce. But it's a <laughs> it's an amazing flavor. Like I yeah I can't emphasize it enough. Like if you love serranos, if you love jalapenos, if you love roasted peppers and roasted mm -hmm. garlic. Get some of this. Yeah, like it, it, it's it's a good sauce it's to have roasted. around. It's the the smokiness. It's just it's just a very well rounded, well balanced hot sauce. I I give this two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Yes. Two thumbs up. Well, two thumbs adding more, and I'm sure I will once we cut. Oh, so, you, you uh, want to go ahead and add more right now? You can. <laughs> I think I mean I think this pretty much you know closes the you know review. I mean, it's, it's damn good. I'm impressed. 
Man, I'm looking forward to trying more Lucky Dog sauces. Me too. Yes. Well, on that note, I'm John. And I'm Julia. Keep it saucy. Keep it saucy.